passed down to you by Cuauhtémoc, eagle warrior of Tenochtitlan. An omen appeared above the forest, the shape of an ear of corn, but blazing like daybreak. It seemed to bleed fire, drop by drop, like a wound in the sky. I am a warrior, not a priest, and knew not what to make of such a sign. I consulted with the seers and magicians to see if another great war was coming, but they answered only in riddles. The gods want more sacrifice, was their answer. That was always their answer. Much of our empire of rainforests and volcanoes has been conquered in the name of sacrifice. The magicians tell us that we must make a sacrifice every single day for the sun to continue to rise. It took the relay teams two full days to carry my message the 200 miles to our city of Tenochtitlan. After two more days, my uncle, Montezuma, emperor of the Aztecs, sent his reply. Montezuma's priests foretold that the god Quetzalcoatl might soon return from his long exile. How else to explain the omen? Montezuma ordered my warriors to increase their efforts to consolidate the rainforest between our lands and those of our enemies. We must establish control over four shrines that are sacred to Quetzalcoatl, the feathered serpent. Because the Aztec Empire is mighty and constantly expands, we have made many enemies. We must defend these shrines from our enemies in order to prepare for Quetzalcoatl's eventual return.
Bante, 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 Bante,
cool.
जाए
Bantel one. Ku Bantel one. Ku. Ok. Oh, <laughs> 
Jump. 
You defile our sacred temple, Aztecs. The gods demand a sacrifice. When my warriors had captured the shrines and defeated the Xochomilco and Tlatiluco, we made the long journey back to Tenochtitlan, laden with gifts for Emperor Montezuma, jade, feathers, and of course, prisoners. The sheer vastness of our city on the lake seemed staggering after having been in the rainforest for so many days. Emperor Montezuma lives in the most sumptuous rooms of the palace with his wives and concubines. While we spoke, he drank frothing chocolate from a golden cup. Musicians played their drums and flutes, and masked women danced. When my uncle, Montezuma, first ascended the Great Pyramid many years ago to become emperor, there was a great celebration. Yet now, some question his leadership. He sometimes makes decisions slowly, and rarely does he lead the warriors into combat. Montezuma's priests informed us that Quetzalcoatl, the Feathered Serpent, would soon return to Tenochtitlan to reclaim his kingdom. Since I helped prepare for his coming, I was given a new obsidian macana and promoted to the rank of Jaguar Warrior. There was more feasting and dancing that night. The air was heavy with perfume. But I noticed as I walked down the steps of the Emperor's palace that the omen still hung heavily over the lake, spraying sparks over the midnight sky. So says Cuauhtémoc, Jaguar warrior of Tenochtitlan.